Let us look at the Four Corners Cooperative Learning Strategy. We shall be looking at steps of Four Corners Strategy and educational implications of Four Corners Strategy. At the end of this session, you will be able to describe the procedure of Four Corners Strategy and list educational implications of Four Corners Strategy. The steps of Four Corners Strategies are the teacher first writes a controversial statement on the board and she provides four solutions that could be possible answers to the controversial situation provided. Out of the four options given, the students have to select one option. In order to select the option, the students are provided a think time. The student has to select an option, write it on a paper, also cite reasons for having selected the option. While selecting the option and citing the reasons, the students are not allowed to consult each other. They are expected to provide their opinions as to why they have selected the option. The teacher then labels four corners with the options that has been provided to the students. The teacher can also label each of the corner with the options that are provided. Once all the students have finished writing their options and the reasons for it, they are asked to proceed to the corner which they have selected. Hence, the group of students assembled in one corner represents the response or the option selected by them. The students collected in one corner then discuss their responses or the reasons as to why they have selected that particular option. Once the discussion is over, the students formulate a collective response. One member acts as a spokesperson who would be presenting the collective response before the entire class. The collective response of each option is presented before the entire class. After the presentation, the rest of the members of the class are given an opportunity to ask questions. There are several educational implications of the four corner cooperative learning strategy. Let's have a look at them. This strategy motivates students and increases student retention by creating opportunities for students to see, hear, say and do. It helps to develop listening, verbal communication, critical thinking and decision making skills in the classroom context. It develops an understanding of differences in values and opinions of the students. This strategy encourages students to cognitively justify their decisions. Thus this technique stimulates discussion and enables students to develop better communication skills. It also encourages critical thinking. Since the students have to reason out their option, this also gives an opportunity for the teacher to do formative assessment of the understanding that the students have with respect to the controversial situation provided to them. 